Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit the like and subscribe button. Um, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. All right, you guys, please be mindful. The messages may or may not resonate, blah, blah, blah. Let's get into your reading. Okay. So I actually was shuffling and these four cards came out and I started doing your reading for like a good six minutes and then I realized I never hit record. So here I am hitting record. Okay. So what I was getting out of the first four cards that fell, I'm seeing two people meeting in the month of September, you and another person. And with the lovers, I feel like there's a falling in love energy here. Now I do want to say that we have Mercury retrograde here. So sometimes the lovers being the number six can be a reconciliation. Doesn't mean you're going to reconcile with someone, but you may hear from someone, a past person who may tell you, and I just want to get this out of the way real quick. I feel like there will be some communication from a past person in September, some clarity and truth from this person about um, another, let's see, I want to say commitment that they have regarding um, career or work, um, but that they are, they're coming to see you. Okay, um, they want to meet up. Two of Cups energy makes me feel like two people meeting for drinks or, or coffee or dinner or something like that. And then there's this decision that gets made to, to come together. There's a falling in love here with the lovers. Okay, now for those of you who don't have a past person coming back and you'll find out at, it's up until September 9th, I believe. Um, I see you meeting somebody new in the month of September, which I know you guys must be super, super happy about that. And, but it's still the same message. You know, there, you might meet them if you're out with friends, you're having dinner, you're doing something, or they ask you out on a date. And there's a conversation also that takes place where I feel like there's confirmation what you are looking for, what this person is looking for are similar very this very much the same there's open communication okay um and a decision to have a second date a third date and and then there's progression to the lovers where there's this falling in love energy now i wanted to say that this person they come across to me very similar to you very routine everything they do it's the same every day you know they wake up in the morning brush their teeth comb their hair um <laughs> you know they have sh they get their showers at night before they go to bed um and then they splash that water on their face i see someone in like um you know getting ready in their morning and uh, like they have the same routine you know like <laughs> They put their shirt on first before they put their pants on. I'm watching some guy get dressed. I mean, or some girl, whatever. They put their shirt on first, then they put their pants on. So they work from top to bottom. This person is very routine. How they come, like what I'm seeing here in my mind's eye, you know, and, and they're like that with work and they're a little rigid. So their routines are very... Um, like they have to do things a specific way every single time. Um, it, I don't know if it brings a sense of comfort or if it's just a habit, but it gives a sense of security because you'll always know where this person, there's nothing that's going to be out of uh, baseline for this person. They're, they're very regimented is what I want to say to you. It's how they come across to me. And so if they have a commitment or a deadline or a project that they have to do or that they are working on and they can't um, go for that second or third date right away, um, know that they're very committed to their commitments and their priorities and the promises that they make and they keep, which is good because that they'll be that way with you as well. So this person, gosh, you might be connecting with another Virgo, could be a Gemini, which they must be a very evolved Gemini to be very regimented because <laughs> um, Geminis aren't usually as regimented as 
we know them to be but um yeah they won't they'll tell you as soon as I'm finished this one last thing that I'm doing this one last as soon as I polish my very last coin I will be on my way to you no doubt okay I just have to finish this I just have to do this okay so we have the hermit here all right let's see take a look so I did say Virgo or Gemini and here you go let's take a look and see what this hermit okay wow this person my goodness so they're like a very scholarly this person i feel like i'm i'm giving you information about them they like to study they like to read they like to do math um they like to solve puzzles this person is like they go inward okay when they it's tunnel vision that's what i'm getting when this person gets into something it's tunnel vision and then everything else around them just falls by the wayside and this is their personality um just a very rigid um they're not a multitasker this person does one thing at a time and what they're focusing on now or will be is like that's what they're doing and as soon as that's over then you guys are going to come together Okay, for e either it's a reconciliation with someone or it's a first to a second to a third date. Yeah, okay. So, hmm. I feel like the message here for you, Virgo, is not to take it personally in some way. Just um, if they're, as long as they're telling you, which I feel like they are going to come in with some, like very fast, with the, the, the be very responsive. Um, if you ask them um, if you're meeting up again or if anything's going on, they'll respond very quickly and very truthfully and they'll give you that clarity. You won't be waiting for a text or waiting for a phone call hours and hours, days and days. I feel like this person will tell you exactly what's going on, you know, um, and this is what they'll be doing <laughs> in that or what they're doing until you connect with them is they are just they're reading papers they're looking at their analytics they're making reports um they're they're looking at their taxes you know it, it seems like work career finances are a very uh important thing for this person i i just feel like paperwork a lot of paperwork now this person could have a career you know as a carpenter or something but they're looking at blueprints i see them you know, or, or they work in, maybe they work in sales and they're looking at reports. Maybe they're stocking shelves and they're very focused on making sure that everything is faced properly. <laughs> you know, very, whatever they get their mind on, it's like they just go full force. They're so involved in it that everything else, they miss the texts. Sometimes they miss the calls, but when, as soon as they, as soon as they realize they respond right away and then they say, Oh my God, I'm sorry. You know, there's no game playing or anything with this person. Okay. Yeah. But they're very slow. You know, um, I feel like that's Taurus. That feels like Taurus to me. Um, this person I hear the phrase, it doesn't matter how fast you move forward, as long as you keep moving forward. And that's what it is for them. This person keeps moving forward um, very stubbornly. They don't get off track. Um, they're, so they're kind of slow. Um, and that's, if you're looking for someone or you're wanting this connection to go from point A to Z, in 60 seconds i don't see that happening it's probably going to be that you're going to need a tremendous amount of patience for this connection okay now we have the moon all right let's take a look here all right virgo this person you know what i'm getting this dream oh my goodness I was just getting dreamy. This person dreams of love. And you know, it's funny. When I started doing your reading before, and I, I didn't record it, what I said about this Two of Cups, I said that the Two of Cups is here because the Ace of Cups already occurred. Okay, and here it is, coming full circle, like the moon. So some of you might already know this person. 
All right. There, this love for those of you where this is a, a reunion, a retrograde reconciliation. Some of you, sorry, already the love has already been established between the two of you. It's just that this person is very, very focused on, you know, their studies, their career, school, whatever it is that they do. Okay. Uh, on the daily, those other priorities. Does that mean that they're not capable of having a relationship? I don't think so. I just feel like this person is doing something in their life <clears throat> that when you meet them, or if you've already met them, this is what their priorities are right now. And these are their things that they they have to fulfill these commitments, okay? Um, they've signed on to them prior to you, or um, they ran away from a relationship and signed on to these things, ran away from you if you knew them before and signed on to these things, and now they're obligated. But as soon as it's over, there's, there's going to be a comeback around here. Okay. And for others, it's just, you're connecting with somebody new. So that ace of cups makes me feel like this blessing has occurred. You might not have met them yet, but spirit is preparing the two of you to be together. Okay. So keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual expectations. And that's what I was saying, Virgo. I kind of feel like you might be like stomping your foot, you know, my biological clock is ticking, may not be your biological clock, but stomping your foot and you're like, let's go, let's do it. You know, I know how I feel about you, but it takes two in a relationship. And th this situation is going to go pretty slow, but it is going to go forward, which is a good sign. That's what I feel like is a very good sign. So it's safe for you to love. This person comes across to me as they're going to provide safety and assurance, okay? And what do I always tell you guys? I say in relationships all the time, love and compatibility are wonderful things, but if there is no trust and there's a lack of safety, if you don't feel safe with someone, I mean, you got to love from a distance. You know what I mean? Even if you're compatible. And safety is a very important um, ingredient in a healthy relationship is to feel safe with each other. So this card says it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to receive and give the highest energy of all. And I feel like this person is going to come through for you as a safe person. Maybe you'll have a safe word together, you know, but it's not going to be anything. It's going to take a while for it to blossom and grow and to cultivate this this connection from the two of cups to the lovers um, but I feel like it's worth it okay as long as you are willing to wait it's just not going to be today <laughs> can you see this card I'm going to try and make sure I brighten it up when I upload it but yeah it's just not going to be today it says not today not dealing hurt avoiding conversation call person boundaries still angry so if you knew this person from the past there might be some of that energy still playing out um and that's fine you need to do some self-healing okay but and you might get angry or frustrated with this person when they reach out and then they don't reach out again for a little bit because they have their other commitments but they'll tell you and you might be like you know what i'm not talking to this person um but I'm giving you a heads up here. I'm giving you a warning of what I feel like is going on here. Some of you are going to think this person is a snake and they're very competitive. Um, hmm. Some of you are going to think this person has another woman or a third party or another man. And I want to tell you that I am not seeing that here at all. I see this person is... I don't know if they're OCD or they have obsessive tendencies. They're obsessed with their career or work. Um, I feel like these are kind of warning signs for you. Some of you might think this person is playing around. If you know for sure that, that this is someone from your past coming back and that's what they do, like you caught them, and then you've got every reason to be suspicious, okay? Um, Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional string along one eight stand. So I feel like for you, Virgo, you might need to take a look at whatever triggers you have. If something 
if you get into a new relationship with someone or you meet someone new and this is what they're doing and it's triggering things in you, then that means that you have some maybe trust issues or things. There has to be good communication. I feel like this person is going to give you truth and and clarity and communicate with you, but you might have some things where you're like, oh, I am not doing this again. And if you're feeling that way with someone who's trying to come back in the retrograde, then yeah, it's, it might be something for you to take a look at. Otherwise... Um, you, you have to use your discernment here. Okay. I'm not seeing third party. I'm not seeing deception or cheating or anything like that. I do see some withholding, um, this person I feel, and I'm going to wrap up your reading here. I feel like this person, when it comes to their deep emotions, they keep them in. They do, they do hide in some way. Um, it's not that they hide. It's just that what's out front for them is the surface stuff, the everyday stuff. You know, this person will like to talk about sports and sports numbers, or they like to talk about um, the price they paid for their groceries and the shopping and all that stuff. And there's, um, but I feel, uh, you know, when you connect with them on a more intimate level, I feel like that's where the love will flourish. That's where the, the love gets felt and the connection, the touching and the holding and the squeezing and the intimacy and the emotional intimacy will get shared more in a more romantic way. The everyday, this person does not feel to me like an everyday romantic, okay? They're more like hey, did you pay that bill? Or um, how much did you pay for gas last week? These are the things that this that they talk about. So I mean, it's, it's a little endearing, but you know, you like what you like, Virgo. So you figure that one out. All right, you guys, I'm gonna leave your reading there. I hope you enjoy this. Um, I went a little bit longer than the seven minutes. So we're gonna try this for a little bit and see how it does. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.